Okay, we're going to start the cabin inspection. The first thing you do is the safety, the safety star. Okay, how do you do that? You check to see if it's in neutral. You press the clutch. You turn the ignition. Five seconds. Then you start the truck. Okay. Now it's beeping because the pressure is below 60. So you have to charge the, the, the you have to raise the pressure. How do you do that? You press the gas. No more. Then 15 RPM. When it goes over 60, it will stop beeping. You charge it first. You charge it to 120. It's going up. 80, 90, 100, all the way to 120. Okay, when we hear that sound, psst, that means it's full. Okay, now, that's when we start talking. Seatbelt, tight, secure, no cat, lucky. It has to be lucky. Here, the emergency kit, fire extinguisher. Uh, no, that one is up to date, full working. Three reflective triangles and a box of fuses. Okay, now we're gonna start from top down. Windshield seal, tie secure, no crack, no leaking. Windshield, tie secure, no crack, clean, no illegal stickers. Wipers, you put them to work. Tie secure, no crack. Working, spraying water. Okay. Mirrors, tie secure, no crack. Clean and adjustable. City horn, working. Highway horn, working. Now, we're gonna check the lights. You tell the inspector, please go out outside to check the light. If he doesn't want to go outside, fine. He will stay here, but you have to tell him all the lights, which are left signal, working. Right signal, working. Emergency light, working. Low beam, working. High beam, working. Cabin light, working. Clearance lights, working. Brake lights, working. Okay? Now, we're gonna check here. The heater. Working. Turn it off. Now, the defrost. Working. Turn it off. Now, we go to the gauges here. Oil pressure. Oil pressure between 20 to 60 PSI in the first five seconds. Water temperature, no more than 180 degree. Battery, 12 to 14 volts. Fuel, half to full and the air pressure here between 90 to 120 PSI. Very good. 
Now we finish telling the inspector all the parts. Now we're going to do the lab test. L A B lab test. First we check if it's full, 120 psi. You see the pressure went down a little bit. We're gonna press the gas. We're gonna raise the pressure. Well, it's going up a little bit, yes, little by little. Remember, always have to be 120 to, st to start the lab test. Good. You heard the sound. Psst. That means it's full. Okay. Six, I mean, seven steps. Okay, here we go. First, one, you turn it off. Number two, turn the ignition on. You see electricity. Number three, you push the brakes. One and two. Okay, now, step number four. We're gonna check leaking. Remember, L, A, B, A. Okay. We have the water tank. The test that you're gonna do uh, on the test, you're gonna be using an, a different truck. That uh, water tank is gonna be around here, okay? Water tank. Tight, secure, no crack, no leaking, full, original cup. Then we have here, below the alternator, we have the water pump. Tight, secure, no crack, belt driven. Also no leaking water. The belt, tight, secure, no crack, no more than three quarters of an inch play. Now we have here the alternator, the alternator. Tight, secure, no crack. It is belt driven. The belt, tight, secure, no crack, no more than three quarters of an inch plate. And we also have the wires, the electrical wires. Tight, secure, no crack, no corrosion. Now, from here to here is the same thing as the other side. And now we finish with the part A. Okay, now we're going to start with the part B, the, the tractor. We're gonna start from the top down. Mirrors, tight, secure, no crack, clean and adjustable. Door, tight, secure, no crack, opening and closing, no missing hinges. Also, the glass, it cannot be broken, it has to be clean. Then you go down, steps, tight, secure, no crack. There has to be no oil, no grease. Gas tank, tight, secure, no crack, no leaking gas, original cap. Now we come here. The catwalk, tight, secure, no crack, no oil, no grease, no missing bolts. Frame, tight, secure, no crack, no illegal welding, no illegal holes, no missing bolts. Then we have here the dry shaft. Tight, secure, no crack, no bent, no missing bolts. The muffler, tight, secure, no crack, no holes, no missing clamp, no missing bolts. Very good. Now we come here and we're gonna do from the inside out, we're gonna do the brake system. Air hose, tight, secure, no crack, no leaking air, no missing clamp. Double air chamber, tight, secure, no crack, no leaking air, no missing clamp. Slack adjuster, tight, secure, no crack, no more than one inch play, no missing pin. Then we have here the drums. 
over here. Brake drums, tight secure, no crack, no illegal welding, no oil, no grease. Also, we have the brake shoes, tight secure, no crack, no oil, no grease. It has to be fat, okay? Now we go to the suspension system. Here. The support front and back. Tight secure, no crack, no illegal welding, no illegal holes, no missing bolts. Leaf springs, tight secure, no crack, complete. Then we have here the U bolt. U bolt, tight secure, no crack, no missing bolt. And we also have here a shock absorber. This truck doesn't have it, but the, the truck that you're gonna be taking the test, it has shock absorber. Tight secure, no crack, no leaking oil, no missing bolt. Very good. Now we come to these two tires. Same size, three inches space and clean. Now we're gonna talk about the back tire. Six things. 232, recap is okay, no bubbles, no cuts, pressure around 100 PSI, you need a tool to check the pressure, and the last one is the air valve, which is located here. Tight, secured, no crack, no leaking air, original cap here. Okay, now three things here, rim, Tight, secure, no crack, no illegal welding, no illegal holes, no bent. The lock nuts or nuts. Tight, secure, no crack, complete, no rust. Center seal. Tight, secure, no crack, no leaking, full, no missing bolts. Very good. Now we come here. The mod flap. Tight, secure, no crack. Complete, no missing bolts. Now we have the lights. We, ha we have turn signal lights. Reverse. Brake lights. License plate lights. And road lights. Tight, secure, no crack. Clean, working, and proper color. Now we finish with the part B, which is the tractor. Okay, we're gonna do the coupling now. We start with the blue hose, which is the service. Service hose or service line. Tight, secure, no crack. No leaking air, connected on both sides. Now we go to the red, which is the emergency hose or line. Tight, secure, no crack. No leaking air, connected on both sides. The green, the green cable, the electrical cable, tight, secure, no crack, connected on both sides, and no corrosion. Glad hands, tight, secure, no crack, no leaking air, and also the rubber has to be in good condition. Now, we go to the fifth wheel here. First, we have the apron, which is here, the apron on the trailer. Tight, secure, no crack, no illegal holes, no illegal welding. Now we have the fifth wheel here. Tight, secure, no crack, well grease, and no space between the apron and the fifth wheel. Handle, tight, secure, no crack, opening and closing. The pins, tight, secure, no crack, no missing pin on both sides. Now we have the platform, tight, secure, no crack, no illegal holes, no illegal welding, and no missing mountain bolts. And then here we have the king pin, tight, secure, no crack, no bent, and also uh, no illegal welding. Uh, here we have the locking jaws, tight, secure, no crack, opening and closing. And that's it for the coupling system. Now, 
we're going to do the lab test. L A B lab test. First, we check if it's full, 120 psi. You see the pressure went down a little bit. We're gonna press the gas. We're gonna raise the pressure. Well, it's going up a little bit, yes, little by little. Remember, always have to be 120 to, st to start the lab test. Good. You heard the sound. Psst. That means it's full. Okay. Six, I mean, seven steps. Okay, here we go. First, one, you turn it off. Number two, turn the initial on. You see electricity. Number three, you push the brakes. One and two. Okay, now, step number four. We're gonna check leaking. Remember, L, A, B. L, leaking. Hold the brake. In one minute, I cannot lose more than four PSI. I stay there one minute checking. Here and here, to see if the pressure goes down. I'll wait one minute. Okay, after a minute, I check. Okay, I lost more than four pounds, so it is leaking. Now, step number five. I'm gonna check alarms. Remember, L, A, B, A, alarms. I pump the brake. Here, at 60 PSI, two alarms, the light and the buzzer, they came on. I need to get out of the road immediately. Very good. Now, step number six, I'm gonna check the brakes. Remember, L, A, B, B the brakes. I'm gonna check the brakes between 40 and 20, the brakes are going to pop out. So now I'm gonna pump to check to see if they pop out. Okay, this one pop out at 30 PSI. Okay, I'm gonna continue pumping. Pop, this one, Pop out at 20 PSI. Good. Now, step number seven. Okay, we're gonna start with the port A. We're gonna start with the front of the truck. We're gonna start from the top down. Clearance light. Tight, secure, no crack. Clean, working, amber color. Windshield seal. Tight, secure, no crack, no leaking. Windshield. Tight, secure, no crack. Clean, no illegal stickers. Wipers, tight, secure, no crack. Working, spraying water. Then we go to the headlights. Low beam and, and high beam. Also, the turn signals. Tight, secure, no crack. Clean, working, turn signals, amber color. Then we go down here, no leaks at all. Okay, now we finish with the front of the truck. We're gonna do the driver's side of the engine. We open up the hood, put your hand here, and your leg over here, open the hood. Okay. Now, we're gonna start here from top down, inside out. We're gonna start with the all the hoses, tight, secure, no crack, no leaking, no missing clamps. All the wires, tight, secure, no cut, in good condition. 
oil diff stick, tight, secure, no crack, no leaking, level or full, original cap. Now we go to the air compressor here, tight, secure, no crack, no leaking, and it is gear driven. Frame, tight, secure, no crack, no illegal holes, no illegal welding, no missing bolts. Now we go to the steering system. We're gonna start with the steering tank. Tight, secure, no crack, no leaking, full, original cap. Now we follow this hose here, and it's gonna take us here to the steering pump. Tight, secure, no crack, no leaking, gear driven. Now the steering box, tight, secure, no crack, no leaking oil, no missing bolts. Then we go to the steering bars. There are four bars. One, two, three, and the one here that goes from one side to the other side. Tight, secure, no crack, no bent, no missing bolts. Then we go to the castle nut. Tight, secure, no crack, no missing pin. Very good. We finished with the steering system. Now we go to the suspension system. Support front and back. Tight, secure, no crack, no illegal holes, no illegal welding, no missing bolts. Then leaf springs. Tight, secure, no crack, complete. U bolt. Tight, secure, no crack, no missing bolts. Shock absorber, tight, secure, no crack, no leaking oil, no missing bolt. We finish with the suspension system. Now we go to the brake system, five parts. Air hose, tight, secure, no crack, no leaking air, no missing clamp. Air chamber, tight, secure, no crack, no leaking air, no missing clamp. Slack adjuster. Tight, secure, no crack, no more than one inch play, and no missing pin. Here inside, we have the brake drums. Tight, secure, no crack, no illegal welding, no oil, no grease. We also have the brake shoes. Tight, secure, no crack, no oil, no grease, and they have to be fat. Now here we have the tire. We're gonna say six things about it. First. 432, Re no recap, no bubbles, no cuts, pressure around 100. Uh, you need a tool to check the pressure, five. And the last one, the air valve, tight, secure, no crack, no leaking air, original cap. Okay, now we have here three parts, rim, Tight, secure, no crack, no illegal welding, no illegal holes, no bent. Now we have the lock nuts or nuts. Tight, secure, no crack, complete, no rust. Now here we have the center seal. Tight, secure, no crack, no leaking oil, full, and no missing bolts. Now we finish with the driver's side. We're going to the other side to do the passenger side. Follow me. Okay. We have the water tank. The test that you're going to do uh, on the test, you're going to be using an, a different truck. That uh, water tank is going to be around here. Okay. Water tank. Tight, secure, no crack, no leaking, full, original cup. Then we have here, below the alternator, we have the water pump. Tight, secure, no crack, belt driven, also no leaking water. The belt, tight, secure, no crack, no more do a part C, the trailer. We're gonna start from the top down and 
them from the inside out. Okay? So we start with the clearance lights. Uh, tight, secure, no crack, no damage. Clean, working. Half amber, half red. Now, trailer wall. Tight, secure, no crack, no damage. No holes, no missing rivets. Then we go to Reflectors. the reflectors. Okay, tight, secure, no crack, no damage. Clean and complete. Then we go here, the cross members. Cross members. Tight, secure, no crack, no damage. Original holes, no illegal welding. Then we go to the landing gear. Tight, secure, no crack, no damage. The bars, they cannot be bent. Okay, no illegal welding. Now we have the handle here. Tight, secure, no crack, no damage. Two speeds, they have to be working. And it has to be here with the original hook. Then it has to be one foot height of the floor. Now we're gonna go to the back. We're gonna start from the inside out. We start with, we start with the air tank. Tight, secure, no crack, no damage, no leaking. And this valve, it cannot be leaking. Okay, it has to be working. Okay, now we're gonna start with the air brake system. Hoses, tight, secure, no crack, no damage, no leaking air. Air chamber, tight, secure, no crack, no damage, no leaking air. Then we have in the back, over here in the back, we have the slack adjuster. Tight, secure, no crack, no damage, over here in the back. Tight, secure, no crack, no damage. No more than uh, one inch play. The push rod and pin has to be straight. Then we have here the drums. Tight, secure, no crack, no damage. No illegal welding. And we have the brake pads. Tight, secure, no crack, no damage. And they have to be fat. Now we have here the suspension system we have four parts okay the support the front and the back tight secure no crack no damage no illegal welding no missing nuts then we have the leaf springs over here tight secure no crack no damage no missing leaf springs they have to be complete then we have the the the, the bar we we have the torque bar we have the torque bar tight secure no crack no damage they cannot be bent and inside here inside here we have the u-bolt tight secure no crack no damage and no missing nuts then we come to the both tires they have to be same size three inches space and they have to be clean then we come to the tire the single tire tight secure no uh, no i'm sorry the single tire you're gonna tell me five things 232 death um no cuts no bubbles no cuts no they, they can be recap okay the pressure 80 to 100 and you need a tool to measure the pressure. Then we have the rim here. We got we have four parts. The first one, the rim. Okay? Tight, secure, no crack, no damage, no illegal holes, no illegal welding. Then we have the nuts. Okay? Tight, secure, no crack, no damage. They have to be complete and no rust. Then we have the center axle. Tight, secure, no crack, no damage, no missing bolts, no leaking, and full. Then we have the air valve here, the valve. 
tight, secure, no crack, no damage, no leaking air, and original cap. Here we have the mod flap, tight, secure, no crack, no damage, complete. Okay, now we come to the back. Okay, the back of the truck. We start from the top down. We start with the clearance lights. Tight, secure, no crack, no damage. Clean, working. And they have to be red color. Then we have the, the door. Okay, tight, secure, no crack, no damage. No missing panels, no missing rivets, no holes. Then we have the wires or the cables on both sides. Tight, secure, no crack, no damage. Going up and down, opening and closing. Then we have the latch. Tight, secure, no crack, no damage. No missing rivets, opening and closing. Okay, then we have the handle. Tight, secure, no crack, no damage. No missing rivets. Then we keep going down. We have the lights, tight, secure, no crack, no damage, clean, working. Then we have the bumper, the DOT bumper, tight, secure, no crack, no damage, no illegal welding.